So now let's take a look at some of the different uh, strumming uh, patterns with the right hand with a pick. Uh, now I've intentionally left my left hand out of frame so that you can concentrate on my right hand. And uh, also want to point out that these aren't, I'm not trying to teach you these, I'm just trying to uh, illustrate some different uh, strumming patterns with the, uh, with the right hand. So no pressure to try and learn any of these. Um, so let's start with a, kind of a basic skiffle rhythm. <laughs> Pretty simple. Uh, how about a kind of a classic rock and roll? Or uh, what about reggae? How about country? Now with country, it's kind of interesting because oftentimes what they'll do is they'll pick the um, the bass note and then strum a rhythm on top of that, so it sounds something like this. Um, bluegrass uh, takes that a step further and they actually will pick out a melody while strumming uh, in most bluegrass songs on the acoustic guitar so it can sound like this so anyway those are just a few examples of some different strumming techniques uh, with a pick obviously, obviously there's many many more than that um, but the one thing that all of those had in common is that they were made up of either downstrokes, which is strumming down towards the floor, or upstrokes, strumming up towards you. And that's why we're starting with a pick. Uh, the pick is made up of two variables, down or up. It's pretty simple. If you start with your fingers, you obviously have many variables and it can get confusing. So that's why we're starting with a guitar pick. And in the beginning, we're only going to learn... The, at the very beginning, we're just going to learn downstrokes, so we're just it'll sound something like this. Pretty simple, but that's kind of how you need to learn. Um, I remember when I first started, uh, that's all I could do was just downstrokes. I think it's because my brain, I, I don't know, my brain, I was concentrating with my left hand, uh, all my brain activity on my left hand, and I didn't want to, you know, mess it up by introducing more... Um, complexity to the right hand. So in the beginning we're just going to learn some basic downstrokes and at some point we'll introduce an upstroke so it'll sound like this. Obviously adding that one little bit of an upstroke adds a little more character to the strumming pattern. Sounds a little robotic without it. Um, uh, another thing to point out that all of those strumming patterns had in common is I was taking advantage of the upstroke. That's a very common thing when you're first starting to play is you you end up making it much more difficult on yourself. You, if you're just playing downstrokes, like I did, what you're doing is every time you strum down, your hand has to come all the way back up, strum down again, all the way back up, and you're, you're missing the opportunity to strum on your way back up. So... So it, you, it, you can actually double the speed by learning to play uh, play with upstrokes. So that's a very important thing to you know, pay attention to as you start to develop in your guitar playing. Uh, are you taking advantage of, of upstrokes? Uh, another thing to point out is um, my right hand, uh, obviously uh, I'm not playing it just at the elbow, I'm not playing my arm at the elbow like that. And I'm also not just playing uh, at the wrist level. It's kind of a combination of elbow and wrist like this. I like to think of it kind of like uh, painting. You know, if you're painting on a canvas, the the motion of that you would use when uh, using brush strokes is kind of similar to that. So that's, that's kind of what your hand should look and feel like. It'll be stiff in the beginning, but the, the more you do it, the, the looser it'll get and it'll start to feel very natural. So now let's take a look at uh, some different, at picking out melodies with the right hand.